Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This is Matt with Coyote Creek Archery. Today we're going to do a quick bow test and uh, I want to talk to about something that um, has been discussed a lot in archery over many, many years um, and that is what peak limb weight bow should you buy? If you're looking to shoot 60 pounds, should you buy a 60 pound max weight bow or a 70 pound max weight bow or does it even matter? We're going to test these two bows out. I've got two identical bows here set up and uh, we're gonna test them out and see. Uh, this is the Bowtech CP28. It's one of my favorite bows. I love this little thing. Um, it's just a great shooting bow, great feeling bow. Um, nice and compact and fun to hunt with. I've got two of them here. Okay, they're both set up the same. Uh, this bow is set up to a 28 inch draw length on comfort. And if you can see on the disc there where it says comfort, okay. Um, look in the picture here. This is a 70 pound max weight on the on the draw weight for this bow and uh, When I put it on my scale, it came in at 60.1 pounds. This other bow is a 60 pound max bow So look at the picture. You can see the limb sticker 60 pound max weight again. We're on comfort 28 inches this one came in at 60.3 um, I'm using a whisker biscuit on both of these so we're really close on our draw weight. We're gonna shoot the same arrow and we're gonna see what result we get. Uh, the arrow that I'm gonna use is, it's just a, the arrow I use for almost all of my speed testing. It's a Gold Tip Hunter XT, 300 spine, weighs about 412 grains. So we'll run these both through the chronograph three times, try to get an average and um, see what we end up with. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with the 60 pound max weight bow. Again, Bowtech CP28. I'm a 28 inch draw, we're on comfort, and this bow was 60.3 pounds through a whisker biscuit, 412 grain arrow. Let's get three shots here through the chronograph and see what we get. Okay, 255 feet per second with our first shot on 60 pound bow. Shot number two. Same thing, 255 feet per second. We'll shoot one more. Okay, third shot with our 60 pound max weight bow. Two hundred fifty-four feet per second. So I had two, two of them at two fifty-five. We'll just call that two hundred fifty-five feet per second uh, with a four hundred twelve grain arrow. Now let's go to the seventy-pound max weight bow. Turn down to sixty point one pounds, and um, we'll see what the difference is. Okay, now I've got the seventy-pound limb bow. Again, we're at sixty point one pounds. Uh, we'll see what we get with our speeds and see how it differs from the sixty-pound limb bow. Draw feels the same. 258. 258 feet per second. This will be our second shot with a 70 pound max weight bow. 258 feet per second again with the second shot. Okay, one more shot with a 70 pound max limb bow. 259. 259. So we had two at uh, 258, one at 259. Uh, we we're 255 on the other bow. So I'm about three feet per second faster with the 70 pound max limb bow. Uh, this was set at 60.1 pounds. My 60 pound bow was set at 60.3 pounds. Um, both using the same rest, both using the same arrow. Three feet per second, not a real big difference. Uh, I would say you could probably shoot three different 70 pound bows and you might get different readings within three feet per second either way each time. So really, I don't think there's really any difference between the two. Uh, if you're looking to shoot over 60 pounds, maybe you're wanting to get 62, 63 pounds, you might be able to squeeze that out of a 60 pound bow. Um, the one that I have here, I did have to turn down just a little bit uh, to hit that about six, right at 60 pounds. So it was about 62 pounds from the factory. 
Um, if you're not wanting to shoot over that, 60 pound bow would be fine, um, but you could do the same thing with a 70 pound bow. It's just really what, what range are you looking for? Efficiency, I don't really think matters anymore. I think these bows are made so well, I don't think that's a big deal. But that was always um, something that people always talked about. If you're gonna shoot 60 pounds, get a 60 pound bow because the efficiency is not gonna be there with a 70 pound bow turned down. I just kind of, I can prove that that's not the case. So um, get what a bow that's gonna fit you and a bow that's gonna work for your draw, draw weight range. Obviously, if you're wanting to shoot 55, 57 pounds, you're gonna want a, a 60 pound bow. Um, but just look at those things and all different draw weights work for different people. I like to shoot right around 60 pounds. Um, so that's kind of why I want to do this testing and see which bow might be a better option to go with the 60 pound max or the 70 pound max. Um, what I'm seeing is I don't think it really matters either way. Um, that's just one little sample um, with two different bows. You may try this out with two different bows and you may get a different result, um, but that's what I'm finding out and I wanted to share the results with you so that you can make an informed decision. Um, CP28 is a great bow, so if you get a chance, go to your local dealer, come in here to Coyote Creek Archery and check it out. Um, I, think, uh, I think it'd be a great, great hunting bow for most any situation. Um, season's getting close, so um, you need to start looking at your equipment and getting things ready and be shooting and practicing and uh, make sure you're proficient um, when the season and the time comes around. So anyway, folks, I appreciate you watching. Um, if you have any questions, comments, you can leave them in the comments below or you can always contact me. My information is on the website, coyotecreekarchery.com. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.